Hello, this is Sam Bell of AtlantaRehabDeals.com and today we're going to discuss the anatomy of a no money down rehab deal that we're currently doing now. I'm going to take you step by step as to what you need to do to go ahead to get up and running, find you a potential rent to own buyer, and sell the property all without having to come out of the pocket. Now the first step in this process is of course to find a buyer and the easiest way to do this is to set up a very simple web page to catch the buyer's name, email address, phone number and how much they have to put down. Okay, So this is a very crucial part because we want to market to people that we know have funds to put down because those are the funds that we're going to use to find, to, excuse me, to purchase the property and to get it under contract. Okay. Here's an example of a uh, website that we use uh, to go ahead and capture potential buyer leads. And you want to make sure, again, like I said, that you capture the contact information as well as you can see down in the uh, bottom right hand corner um, that we asked them how much money they have to put down. Uh, you can actually go view the website, it is live. Uh, you can go to www dot rent to own in ATL dot com uh, that's R E N T the number two O W N I N A T L dot com and you can go to this website and uh and see uh a brief um uh, overview of how the website should look now you can't copy it uh, because it is copyrighted however uh, you can go and view the website and take a look to get some basic idea of what yours needs to look like so that way you can go ahead and get it out on the net now the next step is you want to run an ad in your local paper um, if you don't live if you live in a huge metropolitan area that might be a little expensive so you want to maybe look at some of the other alternative third-party papers some of the free papers that they have in grocery stores you can do advertising in uh, the drifty nickel is a very popular paper um, so based on you know whatever the circulation is in your local area in your market that's where you want to place your ads and you also want to make sure that you of course place ads online using some of the social um, uh, marketing social networking techniques that you can find out there uh, on the internet but you want to uh, post ads and say Craigslist all the three different posting sites that you can um, to let people know that you have uh, homes that are rent to own okay and uh, in an example of the ad you might want to run is uh, seven rent to own homes bad credit okay move in today must have a small down payment and basically what that does is pre-screen um, your potential rent to own buyers so that way you're going to get people who know that they must have money to put down in order to get into the deal okay now step three is to go ahead and pre-screen the leads you want to make sure that you ask pre-qualification questions and make sure that they have an option fee you want to ask them about their previous rental history have they ever owned a home before um, you know find out if they have not owned a home how long they've been renting you know ask pertinent information and of course like I said the biggest question is to make sure that they have an option fee and uh, when they're ready to move and if they're looking to move forward right this second now step four of this process is once you find a tenant buyer and you know that they're a good tenant buyer they have money to put down and they're ready to move forward then what you want to do is start sending them properties now you, you, may, you may say well Sam I don't have any properties to send them to well the great thing is because of the abundance of foreclosures that are out there you can go on the MLS and depending upon what their price range is and how much the money they have to put down is just start sending them to properties that are owned by banks REO properties are great properties to do these type of deals with as well as wholesalers you have a lot of wholesalers out there as well in your local area that are willing to do owner financing or sometimes some of the wholesalers um, are the bank or the hard money lender as well and this particular deal that we've done um, we actually purchased this particular property from a local wholesaler here who just so happens to also be a hard money lender so that's how we were able to send them a list of properties um, that we know fit the parameters as far as their payments what they can afford and how much they had initially to put down to go ahead and get started so this is a great way so even if you don't have any properties this is a way you can go ahead and and get started doing that now 
step five is once you sent them the properties and they picked one they said Sam I like this property this is great we definitely want to move forward you want to get on the horn with your wholesaler or with uh, or with the real estate agent if it's a REO property and put in an offer on that property okay make that offer as soon as you know that that tenant buyer is dead set on getting into that house and the reason that you want to do that is because you want to make sure that the property is available when no one else gets it okay so um, long as it fits the numbers and everything works which you should have done that on the front end um, to run the numbers to make sure that it fits uh, within their payment parameters then go ahead get that property under contract okay once you get the property under contract you're going to collect your funds up front from the potential rent to own buyer okay and basically what you're going to be explaining to them is that since they selected this house of course they know that there's work that needs to be done and you're going to go ahead and bring this house into a pristine condition however before you begin construction you're going to need first and last month's rent as well as an option fee and what you're doing here is you're committing committing them or making them commit to renting the property from you soon as that uh, uh, rehab is done as well as you're also collecting the option fee up front and we're going to use those funds to get into the deal uh, as well as to get the construction started for the rehab so this is how we're able to structure this deal without any out-of-pocket expense whatsoever I mean this is great stuff so let me give you the numbers behind our no money down deal now the option fee that was paid by our tenant buyer was five thousand dollars they also uh, wrote us a separate check for uh, first and last month's rent we charged them eight hundred dollars per month for rent and they wrote us a check for sixteen hundred dollars our purchase price on this property was thirty six thousand um, dollars the rehab cost uh, that which we received from our contractor was twelve thousand five hundred dollars the points and the fees for the hard money loan uh, to get into this property um, using hard money and not and it didn't matter about our credit because the uh, loan was based exclusively on the property uh, was three thousand dollars the after repair value on this home was ninety thousand dollars and the purchase price uh, that we set for the tenant buyer uh, was eighty six thousand dollars okay so let's get a little bit more into detail so that way we can really break this down some more and find out what our profit is going to be once we finish with the rehab and our tenant buyer purchases the home now of course the total upfront money that we received before we started anything on this property was six thousand six hundred dollars that's five thousand dollars for the option fee and then another sixteen hundred dollars that we received for first and last month's rent now of course it cost us out of that sixty six hundred dollars three thousand dollars for the points and the fees to get the hard money loan as well as we needed some initial cost to get the contractor started once we purchased purchased the property as well okay and that was the additional two thousand dollars the total cost of the re of the repairs we actually got that built into our loan our hard money loan so uh, we got twelve thousand and five hundred dollars from our hard money lender plus the the uh, purchase uh, purchase price uh, purchase cost of the property which was thirty six thousand so you see the repairs are twelve thousand five hundred we had three thousand dollars for the points plus the purchase price of thirty six thousand which gave us a total expense amount of fifty one thousand five hundred dollars okay now the purchase price of the tenant buyer was eighty six thousand dollars plus they gave us five thousand dollars up front as an option fee and that option fee is applied towards the purchase price so we have to subtract that um, from the initial eighty six thousand so we have eighty six thousand minus five thousand which gives us a total of eighty one thousand and we have to subtract our total uh, cost of the purchase price plus the uh, hard money uh, loan as well as the repairs and that total uh, cost was fifty one thousand five hundred so you subtract eight uh, excuse me fifty one thousand five hundred from eighty one thousand and our projected profit not including the rents that we're going to that we're going to be charging is twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars again that was twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars all with no money down 
we're going to go ahead and go to the next video so that way you can see the actual rehab taking place and we're going to go ahead and skip over to that now that's part two of our segment thanks a lot